now then YouTube, I'm the Tough Man, and welcome back to some more Thorncraft and Britannia Unite. I have been very, very busy during, uh, in between episodes, guys. Very, very busy. I've sunk some, uh, quite a bit of time into this. Now, what you've seen as a sped up version is only a little bit of what I've been doing. Now, that distance is a long distance, guys. I had to make that a couple of times, three times maybe, but oh, we've finally done it. We have finally done it. Look at this. Bane of Arthropods and looting three. That is fantastic. That came in very, very useful. I went into the nether. I do have three wither skulls, which is brilliant stuff, guys. I've got them hidden away in the chest over there. I'm not going to do that just yet, guys. I want to get some stuff done first. I did say a few uh, a while ago I wanted to get this Thorncraft and Britannia Unite farm up and running. Not the tree farm. I've done that one now. I wanted an actual farm. Now, there's a few different items that I want for this particular farm, and that's what we're going to be working on. Uh, we're going to be working on that today. We need, guys, we need to open my hand of ender. That is my other one. As you saw, I did make another sword, and I did um, go uh, over to the, the, the spawners. I've set myself up a little bit of a spawning room. I do want to make that a bit better, and uh, I'm probably going to go and take some buckets of water over there, get them all into one place so I can just like give them a load of whacking, and then the experience will come out rather than me having to open up the area, then go in to get the stuff. That's just not... I don't want to do it like that. That's dangerous. I very nearly died on one, uh, trying to set it up and trying to think, well, how am I going to do this? So, okay, we've got another Man of Steel sword, which I'm actually going to keep in there, just in case I chuck it, uh, that one at Pex anymore. I do want that pickaxe, though. Do I want anything else? I probably want my book for today, and I will definitely probably want that. Um, have I got any? I do have another stone sword. Let's combine these together so that we can at least make some space and pop that back into there. Uh, I did have some boots. I'm sure I had some leather boots on me. Hmm, maybe they're broke. Maybe they're broke. Who knows? Um, do I need anything else for today's episode? I don't really think so. If I do, I'm well, I've got my hand on me all the time. I don't really need to worry about that. Um, so, what else did I do? Well, you saw that I actually did sort out that. Eventually, I now have an open crate on there, which is fantastic stuff. Ooh, a piece of birch wood just slapping itself in my inventory. Look at this. This is brilliant, apart from the fact that I'm wearing my, uh, my, my, <laughs> my thing. Let me do that. That needs to be onto there. There we go. That'll eventually go ahead and use all that stuff. What's that noise? I think it might be that. I know that Vasky has been messing around and he's got some different sounds coming in. I've, I've literally, I've updated Britannia, but I can't update Thorncraft. There's some sort of problem somewhere along the line with one of the mods that doesn't like the newest forge that's come out. And the newest forge is required for the newest bit of Thorncraft, that point four, um, Which is a shame, but what can you do about it? That is working absolutely fantastically. Eventually, like I said uh, with you guys, I'm probably going to go ahead, move this little setup probably over here somewhere, and then get it going over into that inventory over there. Look at that cow having a good old dance over there. So, we should be gaining a bit of mana. We are. We're gaining a lot of mana there. To say that I took my mana tablet on there not so long back um, and, yeah, emptied that, that's going pretty well. That's going pretty well. In this episode, then, oh yeah, look at this, guys! It now has a it now has a mode. If you shift and right click, you can see the bind mode. Now you can actually go ahead. Say, for example, that there is a um, one of these little pools, these mana pools, and that uh, that flower there. But there was another flower somewhere else. I can go ahead and bind the flower to that particular mana pool. At least I think that's how it works. I'm sure that Vasku will correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, it's, a, it's a brand new thing, guys, so I really don't know much about it. I haven't looked into it myself yet. So, in today's episode, I'm going to require, and this one, this kind of build, is going to be one thing of Thorncraft, and uh, I think the rest of it is going to be Britannia. So, in the comment section below, guys, if you think that I can integrate a little bit more of Thorncraft into this particular build, once it's finished, of course, um, then by all means, I'm going to explain it in a second, but by all means, go ahead in the, co uh, the comment section below and uh, let me know. So, I, I'm going to want a Drum of the Wild, a Hopper Hawk, 
one used golem and an agri carnation for this particular build. Now, these aren't particularly easy to get hold of, and it can be a little bit of a pain in the bum. Um, functional flora. I need another hopper hock, so I will need to create one of them, but I do need um, an agri carnation. Which is a rune of the spring. Everything else is pretty easy to get hold of. But the rune of the spring needs a rune of water, a rune of fire, wheat. I didn't I make one? I'm positive that I made one of these things. Or I was halfway through making one. Hmm. If I would have made one, it would be in here. It would definitely be in here. Of which it's not, so I probably haven't made one. Rune of water. Alright, what was the other one? Rune of Fire. Okay, I think we've got everything that we actually need. Rune of Fire. We're going to need some uh, awkward saplings. Three of them and one piece of wheat. That is pretty awesome. That will get us the Agri Carnation. It is the Runic Altar. So that's pretty, pretty good. Uh, let's go and get this done. Get this all crafted up, guys. Uh, and I'll be back once it's done. And there we have it. We have our Rune of Spring. The other bits and bobs are going to be easy to go ahead and set up. I'm going to put that in my uh, in my Hand of Ender, so I don't need to worry about it anymore. I do want to go ahead and make some baked potatoes. Um, I've got plenty of stuff kicking around that I can actually use. Look at that. Plenty of potatoes. Plenty of... Oh, look. Just so happens. I've got some... Here's what I was doing earlier. Um, oh, yeah, guys. I've got something to say as well. When I was uh, over there killing some Wither Skeletons, and of course I've got that sort of looting now, um, I have my Wither Skeleton Skulls, but I collected a lot of coal. Look at this. I collected a lot of coal. And uh, Blaze Rods as well. There was a couple of Blazes in there that I managed to kill, and uh, I did, did very well there. So, yeah, we've got plenty of stuff going on there, which is absolutely fantastic. It'd be nice to get a Fortune pick, maybe, for some uh, for the diamonds. Um, but, guys, Rune of Spring. Let's stay on focus. Let's stay on task today. We need a red Mana Petal, a green Mana Petal, and a lime green Mana Petal. I do have a lime one there. Green. Red. So I need one of each of these. It needs to be mana. I also need to go to sleep. Otherwise, I will end up with stuff all of my face. And I don't want to end up with stuff all of my face, in all honesty. So I'm just going to go ahead and go to sleep. Right, I'm going to craft this together, and I will be right back. Oh yeah, guys, that reminds me, actually, whilst I was messing around with this. Look, I have stopped my flower farm because this is it, and I have gone ahead and added in this little this little fence around here. It doesn't look particularly great, in all honesty, but it does the job, and I'm quite happy with this. This is my little flower farm, which is fantastic. So, Vasky, you really don't need to have so many flowers spawn by, uh, by default. I know it looks pretty, but you really don't need that. It kind of... Uh, Negates the point of making a jaded amaranthus if you're gonna uh, if you if there's so many flowers kicking around There's just no point Right, let's have a look. We need a water bucket, and we also need our seeds there Whoops So Once again, let's recap two mystical lime petals Okay And the lime one the special one green yellow red special red Special green, yellow, rune of spring, seeds. Oh, sh I missed I missed the entire bloody base there. What's going on? Uh, red. What am I missing? Right, I've got the yellow. I've got the greens. I've got the dark green. Surely I'm fine there. Oh, there's nothing I can craft. Oh, yeah, I'm missing that, of course. Hey, the Agri Carnation. Fantastic stuff. This little flower will help us grow our um, grow, grow our crops quicker, <laughs> which is good. Um, all right, so let me put that into there, put you there, and then put you a lot into there. Okay, I think that's good. We've got one part of our build already now done. Um, the worst part of this build, I think, is going to be the golem. Uh, because I want to go for an iron one. I want to go for a good, strong one that can pick up a lot of stuff. Um, because he is going to be... No, he's not He's not actually going to be the one that's going to... No, but he is going to be taking a lot of those seeds out. So, I don't know. It depends how quick I want it to be. I don't really need it to be an iron golem. But it'd be nice for it to be an iron golem. 
but I suppose. So let me tick that one off the list. We now have our Agricarnation. I need a Hopper Hawk, which really shouldn't be that hard to go ahead and craft. Um, Redstone ru Rune of Air. I don't think we've got any Runes of Air left. Oh no, we do. We have one, which is awesome stuff. Um, light grey mana petal and just a grey one. Light grey. Grey. And then these need to be mana ones. Okay, I'll get this hopper hock done and I'll be back again. Okay, guys. Redstone root. Light grey mana petal. Dark grey. Light grey. Dark grey. We do need some seeds. And we also need the rune. Rune of air. And there is the hopper hock. We've done that one now. There's no problems there. Let's go ahead and put you back into there. So that is the next part of our build nicely sorted. Let me go ahead and tick that one off there. We need a drum of the wild. Now, actually, I'm quite an idiot here because I should have been making sure that these little guys have been well fed because I am going to need leather for this particular thing. Let me grab my wheat then and give these uh, a reason to, to, to get down and dirty with it. So, let me go ahead. Whoops, wrong one. Put that to there. Do I have any leather? I do have one piece of leather. And I have my looting sword, of course. So, when they breed, they should spawn a little one, which is just underneath that guy right there. Um, oh, I can just jump over into this. I don't need a gate. So, we've got two in there. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a good old slap. Plenty of leather going on there, guys. Look at that. Plenty of leather. That's exactly how much we need. For the Drum of the Wild. Now, if anybody doesn't know what the Drum of the Wild is, it's basically a block version of the Horn of the Wild. You actually need a Horn of the Wild to be able to make the Drum of the Wild. Let's go and have a look. Lexicon Index. Now, Vasky actually said to me, check the Lexicon Index because you'll like something. And uh, I can't find what it is that he wants me to find. Um, but I'm sure it's going to be awesome. <laughs> Drum of the Wild. Is, in layman's terms, the percussion counterpart of the Horn of the Wild. It serves the exact same purpose as a handheld horn, but it is placed in the world. T um, to trigger a beat and break nearby foliage, one would require a mana burst at the drum. It's to note that the drum does not store mana. Hence, in order to trigger it, a redstone mana spreader or a mana blaster is required. We're going to go with the redstone mana spreader, guys. We need six living wood, two pieces of leather, and the Horn of the Wild itself. We do have a Horn of the Wild in here. Um, do I want to use that? I think so. I think we'll go ahead and use what we've already got. We use our tools that we've got to hand. We need this, a couple of bits of leather right there. And there we have a Drum of the Wild. This is fantastic stuff, guys. We're actually getting somewhere... Uh, quite far in this episode because the last episode went a little bit slow and uh, I just went exploring a little bit by the way guys the um, I if you haven't seen my video yet on the Eldritch update for this particular for farmcraft then um, the there is altars out in the world but it took me an hour and I was flying in creative mode to find that particular altar for that video so there's no way I'm gonna be doing it on foot until I've got something that maybe a thermostatic harness maybe imbued with haste maybe I don't know something like that so I can fly around and we can try and find something like that. But for the moment, we're not going to do that. We're going to we're gonna do what I said I was going to do quite a few episodes ago. Because this series this series is going slow. But I like that. I like the fact that I'm just taking my time. And I'm going through it. And I'm enjoying what I'm doing. And that's the main thing, guys. If you're enjoying what you're doing, it is the main thing. So let's pop that in there. We have our drum of the wild now. Which is fantastic stuff. I need one use golem. Have you heard that? I'm a bloody cat. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! Right, we are going to go ahead and... I think we're just going to go for a normal golem. Um, a wooden one, maybe? I think so. I need to open my hand of ender. Pop that into there and get my thermonomicon out. Let's have a look. Ooh, clay golems. Tough and durable. Flesh golems, we've already got that one. We can just go ahead and buy this. If we've got the amount we need, we can just go ahead and buy that. Um, which won't be a bad idea. We've got a load of upgrades there that I haven't even touched. I've not even touched upgrades yet. There's a load of stuff still in these two mods that I haven't touched. Oh, that reminds me. I have actually added a couple of mods in just to make my life a little bit easier. Number one is redstone paste. 
That one is going to help me. Do you know that little thing over there? It took me forever to try and get the vanilla redstone to work properly. If I had that redstone paste, I'd have done it in, in seconds, guys. In seconds. Unfortunately, I don't have any slime balls to be able to make the redstone paste. But don't forget, we can use the alchemy thing that's underneath our particular area over there. So that you can go ahead and, uh, and, and actually make slime balls, which is good. And I also... Ooh. I haven't got anything. It's just warning me that I'm... Uh, yeah, I'm messed up. Um, the other mod, guys, is dimensional anchors. With that over there, I want to make sure that this base is loaded at all times. And when I get to automating something over there that's going to kill stuff and get stuff for me, I want to make that, that sure. Uh, make sure that that <laughs> is also uh, sorted over there. So, all right. Um, what am I doing over here? I'm meant to be in the house at my table, if you don't mind. Good stuff. So, we should have quite a few bits and bobs kicking around. How much order have we got? Oh, that's, that's not great, is it? Right, we need six Spiritus, six Motus. I think I can remember that. What am I missing? I seem to be missing something. Victus or Mortus. Well, it's not Mortus, so it must be Victus. That's good. Six of you. Six Motus, which requires order. We got that. That's good. And last but no means least, pray, uh, permutatio. Three. There we go. And we're out of auto already. But we now have clay golems. Uh, stone golems, tallow golems. I believe I've got to get stone golems. And then there's iron below that one. It'd be nice to get these, but I just don't have the auto aspect available to be able to go and do that. So, guys, I think it's time that we went and slept for the night. And then, we will create ourselves a golem. Now, you've seen me do this plenty and plenty of times before. I'm not going to show you it on camera. I'm just going to go ahead and create the golem and come back once I've got the golem with that used car. Because, of course, there's a little bit of work that goes into that as well. So, I will be back when that's done. All right, guys, I have the bits and bobs that I'm going to need. I've got the clay golem. Now I have that used animation core, which is fantastic stuff. I need to go ahead and make a redstone mana spreader. Now, I don't think I've got enough living wood just left here now, so that's a shame. However, we do have plenty of wood kicking around that we can go ahead and make some more. And as far as I'm aware, did I put my axe in here? I did. I need to make a mana axe. A mana, mana axe. Is that even possible? I do need to make a, a Man of Steel axe. Let's pick this up. I always make it a habit just to, uh, you know, put down some more when I leave. So I can come along and then I can get some more when I do need some more. However, living wood, we need a redstone mana spreader, if you wouldn't mind. Let's have a look. It's just a mana spreader with a redstone. Now, unfortunately, I am running out of gold. And this is a problem for me. Because I really don't want to go mining. <laughs> I've done enough mining to last a lifetime. So let's uh, go ahead and grab a spare one. We don't have a spare one, so we'll just get the next one up. Which we have lots of. That's you. With the gold and the living wood on either side. <clears throat> And there we have the redstone mana spreader. So we are all, we are almost there, guys. However, I am going to need some of my uh, stone. I think it's smooth stone I actually need for this as well. I need to get some living wood because I need another. Um, I need another thing. I need another uh, the mana pool down there because from here. Hmm. Do I want to do it from there? I don't know, because I like to distribute them. Now, I want this over here, which is why I've got this little uh, place here. I actually do need some uh, some water. Let me get my bits and bobs together, guys, and hopefully we can get this done and dusted in today's episode. That would be brilliant if we could. Uh, I'm going to go grab you for a second. And yeah, I'll be back once I'm ready. A diluted mana pool is what I'm going to need. I went ahead and created another mana spreader as well with my last piece of gold, so I hope this is actually going to work. Um, in fact, it might be a little bit too far away. I might need to move this. Come here, you. Thank you. Two mana spreaders. Okay. 
this is fine. This is good. Now, I want you, please. Have I got my little thing anywhere? I do have my little thing. <laughs> no, no, look. Where are you aiming that? What am I on? Function mode. So what? Am I, am I already on one somewhere? I don't know, but it's been a pain. Look, I don't want you to aim that way. I would like you to come down here, please. Wait. Why? Why must you do this? Okay, let me put one down and see if that helps. No, it's aiming somewhere. That is really annoying. I need to find out which one it's aiming at. Because I haven't, obviously I haven't unbound it. God knows where it is. None of them have the the block around it. I don't have any anywhere else. Why are you doing this? I have no idea. Maybe I've got to actually have it on the bind mode now. Let's have a look. Ah, well, there you go. That was me being an idiot. Okay, that's fine. It's now on bind mode. So we want that to face over in this direction. If you can, please, over here. So you run out of power right there. That's when you start getting diminishing returns. We don't want that to happen. Um, what we will do is we'll have a, dilu a diluted mana pool right there. So I think... Yep, that's pointed straight at it, so that's fantastic stuff. We're going to have... Oh, dear. Hang on a second. I might need to open this a bit. Which is a shame. I want to... Once I've got a little bit more gold, what I will do is... I'll have that pointing... Up here. Like, I'll have one there, pointing up here, and then bouncing it over towards there. So we don't need to worry so much. Um, but for the moment, let's get a mana spreader on this side. And let's point that... To there. Good. You're not actually running out of anything. Which is fantastic. So I'm going to put you there. And I'm going to make another mana pool and put it right over here. Because it needs mana. Does this agricarnation to go ahead and work? Um, there's probably an easy, a really easier way of doing this, guys. Again, that's where the comment section comes in really, really handy. Um, I never do things the most efficient way. Which I would have thought you, you guys would know this by now. <laughs> I never do things the most efficient way. And uh, this is... Something that I've literally just done on the fly here. So, uh, okay, we've got Living Rock. I need to go ahead and make this into a diluted mana pool. So let's pop into here. We only want it to be a small one because, of course, all of that mana that's in our central mana pool, our big one, um, that is going to get drained and get sent over to this one. And then that is also then going to get drained and sent over to this one. So all these will end up being full. So there's nothing that we can do about that. Well, at least I don't think there is. I'm sure you guys will let me know if there is. Um, I'm going to have you point in over here, I think. No, 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 to this. Can I do that without you? You? You. Yes, that's not actually losing any mana right there. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. This is what I am after. Okay, so next on the list is we need some seeds. That's right, guys. We need, do need seeds. Let's go and grab some. Plenty of seeds will do quite nicely. I do need a chest as well. Awesome. I am actually running out of space. Let me go ahead and put some of this stuff away. The fence as well. Okay, right. We should be ready. Our golem is fine. Our golem is nice and ready as well. Have I got my golem and his bell? I think it's in my thing anyway. Right. Where are we, where should I put the golem? Um, on this side maybe? Put the golem on that side. Now, I'm going to do this at the start here. And there's a reason for that. Where is my piece of dirt? That is good. I want... No. I'll, I'll use one of you. Right. Now. Do I want it to do, did I want to do that? No, I didn't want to do that at all. What am I doing? What am I doing? 
I want to put you there because I need a piece of dirt right there. I need the water there, of course, because you can't have a farm without water, guys. It just doesn't work like that. So let me pop that back to normal. Good stuff. Now we will have our agricarnation, which I did say to Vasky, would you mind making this a redstone root kind of thing so you can turn it off when you don't need to use it because it constantly takes that uh, thing. And you'll see why I would like that in a minute. I'm just going to put that down there. That's going to go use this mana from in here and uh, make these grow faster. <clears throat> it is going to make them grow faster. My goodness. <clears throat> there we go. So our clay golem, the hopper hawk, of course, is going to take any loose items and go and put them in this chest here. The golem there, I just accidentally clicked on that. But uh, he's going to have a used car. Thank you very much. I do need to sort that out because that guy... It's going to end up going mad. There we go. You do want the seeds, my boy. You do want the seeds. Golemancer's Bell incoming. You've got a lot of work to do, my boy. Because all of these need seeds on them, if you could. Like I said, there's, uh, there's better ways of doing it. Oops. Let me go and grab this. Oh, no. I wonder if he'll actually put them and plant and, you know, do that like normal. Or whether or not he'll actually do that. I'll leave that there and find out. Okay, have I missed any? Oh, look, it's kind of... I don't know what to do! Go down, boy. <laughs> he has totally glitched. He has no clue... Where? Oh, no, hang on. I think he's actually glitched on this one right here because he can't plant it. He's trying to right click on it. It's not working. There we go. You see There we go. So this is nearly done. We are very very nearly there now. We want to utilize this now So our drum of the wild Is gonna go Here I think that will reach You know what no Is it? If I put the redstone mana spreader there, does it stop it from connecting? I don't think it does. There is a lot of noise going on, I'll tell you that much, guys. Let me pick you back up. And put you over this side, right here. Let me get my wand of the forest. Bind it to you. And last but no means least... Let's use a little bit of living wood. Why not? Why not? Let's put that right there. Does that work? Will that work? You know what? No. Let me pick you back up. I've got a better idea. We are going to put a piece of living wood down there. That is not going to get to it, is it? Hmm. You know what? Does this act Will this work from here? Well, we'll soon find out. But you're going to go there. And I am going to get a piece of living wood and put you this side. With a buton. We will soon find out if this actually works, guys. Um, I'm going to leave it just a little while. Make sure all of this is grown nicely. And, uh, and then I'll be back to press this and see if this works. Now... We, sh we should be done. This should be our farm nicely sorted. And I've left enough room on the sides here to go ahead and fence all this in as well so that no n nasty cows can go and get to it. But we're pretty much sorted. I do need to go to sleep, actually. So let me go to sleep. I'll be back when it's fully grown, and then we will end the episode there. Thank you very much. I will be back. Okay, guys, so I cheated a little bit. I went and got some bone meal. So this is now done. I wonder if, with the drum being here, if it's going to actually go through with these crops. Let's have a look. Okay, I'm not in... I mean, it's got half of this stuff in here. <laughs> so maybe it's a little bit too close to that. Um, but I don't get what happened there. Why is it not done that?
I wonder if it's just doing it like uh, randomly here. Oh, there we go. Everything is now harvested. This little guy is uh, going ahead and planting this stuff. I think that's working pretty awesome. Now, I'm going to go and grab all this stuff. Whoa. Plenty of flowers. No need to worry about these. I need to worry about these because I need to go ahead and put some stuff away. Like you. Like you. Um... I'll put some living wood and some stuff in there. Uh, flint. My wand, of course. Okay. So, guys, now that is done. We are sorted. We've actually got a Thorncraft and Batania Unite farm. If there is any way to improve this, maybe integrate Thorncraft a little bit more into this, because everything is practically Batania other than the Golem, um, then let me know. Uh, but yeah, guys, I hope that you've enjoyed this episode. Please go ahead and leave a like if you have. It would be amazing if you could. And until next time, I've been the Topman. As always, stay safe.